If you clicked on this video because you want a bubble butt, then stay tuned because the workout we're about to do is going to be intense. So if you clicked on this video thinking, oh yeah, this workout might be a little bit easy, pause the video, come back in 10 minutes because it is not going to be easy at all. So the format of this workout is going to be in proper training form, okay? So we've got sets and reps. The reps are ranging between 12 and 15 reps per exercise and the sets are all about three sets each, okay? So what we need for this workout is a kettlebell. I've got mine from Amazon and I'll link it down below so you can go order that. And just before we jump to the video, I know I'm going to get so much questions about these bands. So these are called BFR bands or occlusion bands and basically what they do is kind of like restrict blood flow to your muscles, which means that your muscles have to work harder. So I use my BFR bands to engage my glutes more when I'm training at the gym or when I'm training at home, okay? So these are also from Amazon. I'll link them down below. Low, but 100% do your own research on occlusion bands, okay? Read up about it so that you can safely use them, watch other YouTube videos on them, and train safely. But that's enough for me, let's jump into the workout. Okay, so our first exercise is a kettlebell swing. This is honestly one of my all-time favorite exercises because it hits your glutes perfectly, okay? So with a kettlebell swing, you want to put your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart so that you can swing through, hold the kettlebell with both hands, Come down into a slight bend, okay? So you don't want to be crouched into a squat, just a slight bend at the knees, swing it through your legs, bring it up, and squeeze your glutes at the top of the motion. So what we're gonna do is 15 reps and three sets of this exercise. Like I said at the beginning, 40 second rest in between. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Bring it through and squeeze. Through and squeeze. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, forty second rest. Just to give you guys a tip, okay. Please make sure that when you do your kettlebell swings, you don't come into a squat position because you honestly can't get a proper range of motion, okay? So when you come down, bend your knees ever so slightly so that you can still swing through. And with the kettlebell, you want to bring your arms to parallel and that's where you stop with the kettlebell. So you don't need to go way above your head. You don't need to stop just by your hips. Make sure your arms are right in front of you with the kettlebell and bring it back down, okay? Ooh, okay, 10 seconds. And we're gonna go again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Bring it through and squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. 40 second rest, grab some water. Okay, so you might be thinking that the pace that I'm moving at is a bit fast, but with kettlebell swings, you wanna keep a continual motion. So when you do a kettlebell swing, you don't want to pause at the top and bring it back down because you're holding a weight. Meaning, obviously, gravity, you've got your arms are going to come back down. So when you do a kettlebell swing, swing up and bring it straight back down in a continued motion and keep your glutes engaged. Okay, six seconds. And we're going to do the final one for this. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, so that was the last one for that. We're gonna have a forty-five second rest and go into our second exercise.
Okay, so for our second exercise, we have a deadlift. Same thing, 15 reps and three sets. So a deadlift, you just want to hold your number on both hands and you just want to push the hips back, bring the, dumb, uh, the kettlebell sorry, to the floor, engage your glutes, come back up and squeeze them at the top of the motion. So 15 reps, 40 second break, three sets, okay? Ready, three, two, one. So nice, slow motion, drive those hips back, engage and squeeze at the top, okay? That's two, nice and slow. Three, four, five. So you should feel this in your hamstrings. Six, these are your hamstrings. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. You guys know the drill, 40 seconds. So, one thing I want you guys to take away from this workout is that if you're going to the gym and you're not familiar with like machines and stuff, you can do a whole workout using one piece of equipment. So don't think you've got to go and use that machine and that machine. You can literally just find a corner in the gym, grab a kettlebell or some dumbbells and do a whole entire workout. Okay, 10 seconds left. Gonna go again. Okay, ready, three, two, one, push those hips back, bring it up and squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, halfway through, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Forty seconds. Okay, so to give you guys a form tip, I do see a lot of people when they do deadlifts, they strain their neck looking upwards. So they'll be doing this. And honestly guys, that is all wrong, okay? So whenever you're performing any exercise, keep your neck in line with your body. Where your body goes is where your head goes. So if you're going down, your head needs to go down as well, okay? So your spine all the way through to your neck and your head needs to be in one parallel line. So you see how my head is following my body? I'm not straining, my head is following my body and I bring it back up and squeeze, okay? So that can kind of avoid back pain, neck pain, any type of pain, that will help avoid it. Okay, final deadlift set. Ready, three, two, one. One, remember push those hips back. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen and 15. 45 seconds, then we move on to the third exercise.
Okay, so next up we have goblet squats. So with a kettlebell, you want to hold it on the sides rather than the top. You want to put the kettlebell at your chest, feet forward, and you just want to come down and break my cup and squeeze. So it's kind of like a regular squat, but the weight is at the front of you, okay? And your feet are facing forwards. So again, we're gonna do 15 times three and move on. Ready, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, make sure you squeeze at the top, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Ooh, forty seconds, you guys know the drill by now, we put up the timer, oh, yeah, 40 seconds. <laughs> I don't know if my apartment is just hot, but I'm literally sweating. <laughs> yeah. 20 seconds. Okay, so next up we have a staggered stance deadlift, okay? So this is where one foot is kind of like on your toes, the other one is straight. 
you bring the kettlebell down to your toes, so you'll feel it through the leg that's straight, and you bring it back up and squeeze at the top of the motion. So we're gonna do 15 on each side, three sets each, okay? Ready, get into position, so one foot on your toes, you just wanna have a slight bend in your knees, you can kind of hold on to yourself for stabilization. Ready, three, two, one, bring the kettlebell nice and slow to your toes, you fit it for the straight leg, up and squeeze. Nice and slow, and bring it back up. If you can't squeeze at the top of the motion, then don't beat yourself up about it, because it is quite hard to feel that squeeze at the top. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, I love you so much. <laughs> 10, you can really feel it. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Swap sides, then go straight into the next 15. Ready, three, two, one. Push those hips back, one, two, Three, four, five, just really feel it in your hamstrings. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. 40 seconds. So whenever I do deadlifts, and I'm doing deadlifts at the gym or whatever, and I post it on my socials, a lot of people say, whenever I do deadlifts, my back hurts. Now, deadlifts do target your back, okay? So when people go to the gym and they train back, a lot of them tend to do deadlifts because the up and down motion targets your lower back. So if you are feeling a strain in your lower back, it's perfectly normal. You shouldn't be experiencing hardcore pain. So if you are experiencing pain, then obviously your form is incorrect. But yeah, if you feel a bit of a strain in your lower back, it's normal, okay? Deadlifts target your lower back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go again. Grab the kettlebell, legs straight, up one on the toes. Ready, three, two, one. Oof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Opposite side, feet in position. Ready, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, whew, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Forty seconds. So when you're doing deadlifts, any type of like straight leg deadlift, which is what we're doing, make sure you push your hips back so that you can target your glutes and your hamstrings so that you can really stretch through it and you bring it back up to the top of the motion. Okay, we're gonna go again for the final 15. 
on each leg and then we're done with this exercise. Okay, in three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Opposite side, final fifteen, feet in position, ready, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, final five, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So, like I said before, I can feel some strain in my lower back, which is perfectly normal, so if you feel it as well, don't worry about it. But we're gonna have a 45 second break and move on. So what we're going to do next is another form of a deadlift and we're going to do single leg deadlifts. So you may need to hold onto something because it's pretty hard to stabilise yourself. So we're going to hold the kettlebell in one hand and we're going to bring it to the foot that's on the floor and raise the other leg at the same time. So we're going to do 12 reps on each leg times 3 and move on. Okay, ready? In position, 12 reps. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Bring it to our toe and raise the opposite leg. 1, 2, Nice and slow. Three, four, five, six, halfway through, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Swap over to the opposite side. Ready, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. 40 seconds. Okay, so I usually do single leg like this after I've done a specific exercise. So I kind of use it as a superset because it's a really good way to just hit the boots again and increase the intensity of the overall exercise. But you want to make sure that you keep your legs straight and when you bring your foot to the top of the motion, you don't extend it like beyond your spine. Just keep it in level with your back, bring it straight, and bring it straight back down. Okay, around 10 seconds. Okay, you're ready to go again. Ready, three, two, one. One, two, you should be able to squeeze your glute at the top, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Swap over to the opposite side. Hold on to what you need. Ready, three, two, one. One. Two, you might be able to fit it more in one glute, and that's perfectly fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. You know the drill. So we've got the final 12 on each side. I'm gonna move on again. Ten seconds. Okay, grab your kettlebell. And then three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Opposite side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ooh. ten, keep pushing, eleven, and twelve. So we've got forty five seconds and we're moving on again. So our final exercise is a sumo kettlebell squat. So we're going to put the kettlebell in the middle of us with our feet wide in the shoulder width and kind of pointing outwards just a little bit. And then we're just going to come down in the middle into a squat position, drive through our heels and squeeze at the top. So we're going to do 15 times three and then we're finished with this workout. Ready, three, two, one. Nice and low, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Forty seconds. Let's go. I honestly live and swear by kettlebells. Like, I get so many DMs saying, I don't know what to use at the gym. And I'm like, grab a kettlebell. Honestly, if you do not know what to do at the gym, 
Grab a kettlebell, find a corner in the gym, and you are sorted for the whole workout because you can do so many variations of it. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, just under 10 seconds. Okay, next 15. Feet pointed out just ever so slightly. Chest up, ready? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15. 40 seconds, final 40 seconds. <sighs> 20 seconds left. Again, okay, grab your kettlebell, final 15, you've got this, ready, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Workout complete. Boot your fire. Legs on fire. So this is a perfect, perfect workout to hit your glutes. I know a lot of people struggle to target their glutes, and like I said, I wear the bands to help that as well. But kettlebells are game changers. Do not walk past them in the gym and think these are not gonna do anything. They're game changers. So I'll link the kettlebell down below. This kettlebell is six kg. Um, I decided to go light, I'm just gonna take the video. So you can use any weight that you want, but if you wanna get the same weight as me, then this is 6kg. So make sure you drop a comment, let me know how you found the workout, let me know if you're used to kettlebells or you don't really use them. Hit the like button and subscribe if you're new because we're on the road to 300k. But yeah guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.